Hey Orchard Middle School, here's lesson 60 E2B, learning target of I can identify parts of an equation. You'll see those parts of an equation in this picture down below. So here's what those things mean. Uh, quantity is the first one and it's not in that picture. But a quantity is part of an expression that belongs in parentheses. A quantity is, uh, if I take the quantity of 2 times r and divide it by 3, it looks like that. This part here kind of belongs in parentheses. Or if I take the quantity 2 plus x and multiply that by 3, this is a quantity. A quantity is a group of numbers that should be considered as one number. Okay? And we usually put them in parentheses, but not always. Okay, next, next vocabulary word, coefficient. It's a number that is multiplied by a variable. In my example up above, 2r, 2 is the coefficient of r in that case. You'll see coefficients in the picture. The coefficients in the picture are the 2 and the 4. 2 is the coefficient of x and 4 is the coefficient of y. It's the number that's multiplied by a variable. You can find them easily right in front of a variable. Next word, factor. Not in the list, but a factor is a number that's multiplied. So with the example of 2r, these are both factors, 2 and r. If you have a multiplication problem, the things that are getting multiplied are called factors. Next word, constant. This is one you haven't heard before. It's a number in an expression that is on its own. So in an expression like 2r plus 3, the number that's on its own is the 3. That's the constant right there. In the diagram up above, the constant is the 9. It's a number all by itself in an expression. All right, term. The term, a term, is a part of an expression that is separated by addition or subtraction. So in the example that I just used above, 2r plus 3, there are two terms because this and this are separated by an addition sign. So this is an expression with two terms. If I have 3x plus 4y minus 7, there's three terms because these three sections are separated by a plus or a minus, addition or subtraction. It's the sections of a problem. So let's look up above in the picture. The terms in that example are 2x, 4y, and 9. So there's three of them. You can see them. Okay. Enough with vocabulary. Here's my uh, excellent notes. To identify the parts of an expression, memorize the vocabulary terms above. So there's not really a process to identifying parts of an expression. You just have to know what they are. So this is an example I want you to copy into your notes. Write the whole thing. Consider the following expression. Write that down. And write down... 4m plus 2r squared plus 7. Now, how many terms are there? There are 1, 2, 3 terms because there's 3 sections separated by a plus or a minus. So 3 terms. Write that there are 3 terms and maybe draw a picture to them so that you don't have to write down the question. What is the coefficient of m? So coefficient of m, you might want to write down the word coefficient, and maybe you're actually going to have to write down coefficient of m and draw to the coefficient of m. It's 4. That's the number that's multiplying m. All right. Next question. What are the factors in the first term? So the first term is the 4m. 
the factors are for and M. Name the constant. The constant is the number that's by itself. The constant is 7. All right. Now we've got some examples that you don't copy down. First example. Determine whether the following statements correctly describe 3y minus 11. The terms are y and 11. That's a big no, because the terms are 3y and 11. So that's a false. Uh, let's look at the next one. The coefficient is y. The coefficient's a number, not a variable. So that is also no. Uh, let's look at the next one. The coefficient is 3. Is 3 the number that's multiplying a variable? Yes, indeed. That's an answer. That's a yes. Uh, the constant is 11. Is the 11 by itself? Yes, indeed. So those are your two answers. All right. Ooh, there's a dot there. Which statement describes 6m? The variable is 6. A variable is a letter that stands for a number, not a number. So that is not correct. Let's see. The constant is 6. Is the, con is the 6 by itself? No. It is being multiplied by m, so it's not by itself. The terms are 6 and m. No. Terms have to be separated by a plus or a minus, and those are not. Uh, the next one, the expression is finding a product. A product is an answer to a multiplication problem. Is that a multiplication problem? Yes. That's the answer. Moving on, if y equals 2.5, which of the following expressions will produce a value of 7? Okay, so we're actually evaluating an expression here. So in order to do this, you have to substitute the y for 2.5. In other words, take a 2.5 and put it anywhere there's a y. So this first, ex first expression means 2 times y, so it would be 2 times 2.5, and then add 3. So if I work that out, I multiply first. 2 times 2.5 is 5, and 5 plus 3 is 8. So it is not that. So if y is 2.5, does 20 divided by that, does that equal 7? 20 divided by 2.5. How many times is 2.5 going to 20? It's 8. Uh, you can check it on your calculator. I could, I could work it out on the side, but 2.5 goes into 20 eight times. So that's not an answer. So now we've got 4y minus 3. Does 4y minus 3 equal 2.5? Let's go check over here. So instead of y, I'm going to write 4 times 2.5. 4 times 2.5 minus 3, does that equal 7? Well, 4 times 2.5 is 10, and 10 minus 3 equals 7. We've got a winner. Ding, 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 ding. That's the answer. Okay. And the question said, which one? So I know that this next one's not going to work. 3Y.